गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स और दिस इज अवर सेशन नंबर फोर फॉर वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन अलर आई टोल यू दैट इन ऑल माई सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ऑल द वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन एज वेल एज द वैबलरी ऑफ इंग्लिश फ्रॉम ए टू जेड राइट मीन्स इन ऑल द फोर ऑप्शन आई एम टेकिंग द वर्ड सो दैट यू कैन मेक यूर कम्फर्टेबल विद ऑल द हाईली फ्रिक्वेंसी वर्ड्स दैट आर बींग जनरली आस्ट इन जी मैट जी आर ई एस एस सी बैंकिंग कैट मैनेजमेंट एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन For more videos, you may uh, log into my website www.dineshmiglani.com, my Facebook page Dinesh Miglani Tutorials, uh, my WhatsApp number is zero nine two one double five one double four three five. For any query, my email ID legalbuddy at the rate gmail dot com. For regular updates of my videos, you may subscribe my YouTube channel in the name of Dinesh Miglani Tutorials. I expect from you to share my videos on your Facebook wall. as well as with your friends so that they will also be benefited by this let us start with this session session number 4 right our first word is one who prepares plan for the building right the first word is one who prepare plan for the building so we all know that that person is basically named as architect right one who prepare plans for the building that person is basically named as architect right let's have a few more words here the first one is said to be A S H E N, right? It is basically a something which is like ash colored, ash and right? Something which is light in the color of ash, right? So that is said to be ash and right. The second word is ascribe. A S C R I B E. Ascribe means to refer something, right? Or we can say uh, to refer something or assign something. That is ascribe. Next we have aseptic. Uh, aseptic means preventing infection. We know that antiseptic that we know, right? So that is something that prevents infection. Something that prevents infection, right? So that is said to be aseptic. Okay. So one who prepare plans for the building, that person is known as architect. Next one is a place where government records or public records are kept. So that place is said to be archives, right? That we know that. That place is said to be archives. The first word is S E nine. S E nine is basically stupid. S E nine is stupid, right? Who is fool? So that is said to be S E nine. Okay. Next we have askance. Askance is with a sideways or indirect look, right? So looking askance at her questionnaire, she displayed her score, right? So that is somewhere. Askance is somewhere indirect look. इनडायरेक्ट लुक राइट जिसको हम हिंदी में कह सकते हैं कई बार आप किसी की तरफ टेढ़ा देखते हैं अगर वो आपके अगेंस्ट में कोई बात करे तो दैट लुक इज बेसिकली सेट टू बी आस्कैंस लुक राइट मीन्स यू आर इन ए प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस राइट एंड ए रिपोर्टर हैज आस्ट ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू दैट इज अगेंस्ट यू तो समाइम यू लुक टूवर्ड्स दैट पर्सन इन ए इनडायरेक्ट लुक तो दैट लुक इज सेट टू बी आस्कैंस लुक राइट नेक्स्ट वी हैव आस्क्यू आस्क्यू इज बेसिकली स्लॉन्टेड राइट और वी कैन सेट एन एंगल Okay, so here a place where government records are kept that is said to be archives. Next one is government by the nobles. We all know that government by the nobles is said to be aristocracy. Aristocracy is government by the nobles, right? Uh, next word is asperity. Asperity is basically sharpness in temper. Asperity is basically sharpness in temper. Right, some persons are very sharp in temper. Right, so they are said to be that is that sharpness is basically said to be asperity. Right, next is aspersion. Aspersion is slanderous remark. Aspersion is basically slanderous remark. Right, or we can say bad remark towards someone. So that is said to be aspersion. Right, and next one is aspirant. Aspirant means. a uh, seeker after position or status so that is uh, somewhere aspire to aspire for something for example we call them as job aspirants means who are aspiring for jobs so job chahte hain they are said to be job aspirants right so that is the meaning of the term aspirant right here government by nobles is said to be aristocracy the next word is the cessation of warfare before a treaty is signed right sometime we know that uh, uh, the war is being stopped right because a treaty has to be signed to so that uh, particular occasion is said to be armistice right so that is said to be armistice right 
uh, aspire that you know that aspire is to uh, seek or to long for or we can say to wish for that is said to be aspire a sale a sale is basically assault a w -S, s a u l t right that is basically to attack on someone that is said to be a sale and next we have s a a w -S, s a y that is to analyze or evaluate that is to analyze right or we can say to evaluate okay so that the here the question is to stop the warfare before a treaty is signed that particular time is basically named as armistice right aspire you know wish a sale to assault on someone right to uh, attack on someone you may call it as an attack right as say a w s a y that is to analyze a situation right so sometimes these words are being taken in homonym you have s a e w s a y that you know to write an essay on someone right to write an account of someone and essay is a w s a y is to analyze next is a place for ammunition and weapons right or place where weapons are kept that is arsenal that you know that right assent a w s e n t assent is basically to agree on someone right to give consent on something that is said to be assent right uh, next is assert assert means to state something positively or we can say that to speak about something positively that is said to be assert right assessment assessment is estimation assessment is basically said to be estimation okay so here we can say that a place where weapons are kept so that place is basically uh, called as arsenal okay uh, next word is one who is guilty of firing property right one who is guilty of firing property that is said to be arsonist a r s o n i s t that person is basically said to be arsonist okay assimilate assimilate is basically absorb basically observe right so generally uh, this term assimilation is used when you uh, assimilate a concept right suppose you are a teacher right and you want to teach history uh, before teaching history first of all you have to assimilate the whole concept of history so that you can perform it better right so that is said to be assimilate uh, next we have assoj assoj is to lessen pain basically we may call it as to pacify right or uh, that may be called as to lessen pain right that is said to be assoj and next we have assumption assumption is something that is taken from granted assumption is something that is taken for granted taken for granted right that is said to be assumption means that we assume before speaking that is assumed right so that is taken as assumption right here one who is guilty of firing a property so that person is basically said to be arsonist right next question is one who is not interested in the pleasure of the world okay so one who is not interested in the pleasure of the world so that we know that that is a saint that is said to be ascetic right so ascetic is something jisko bhautik vaad se koi matlab nahi hai jisne sare sansar ke pleasures ko chhod diya right that person is said to be ascetic okay here we have some words first one is assurance assurance is basically promise that you know uh, he has given assurance right it means he has promised me so that is basically said to be promise next we have asteroid asteroid is small planet asteroid is small planet okay and uh, the next one is astigmatism right astigmatism is basically it's an eye defect that prevent proper focus okay it's sort of an eye defect astigmatism is proper it, it's sort of eye defect it is sort of eye defect right that prevent proper focus eye defect that prevent proper focus that prevent proper focus right so that is basically said to be astigmatism right so here we can say that one who is not interested in the pleasure of the world right so that person is basically said to be ascetic okay and asteroid is we know that is a small planet and astigmatism is basically eye defect that prevent focus next question is an assembly of hearers right person uh, who gather to hear someone that is said to be assemblage that hearing is said to be assemblage right a uh, first word is astral a s t a a s t r l astral means uh, that is deals with astrology 
तो वी कैन से दैट दैट रिलेटेड टू स्टार एस्ट्रल बेसिकली रिलेटेड टू स्टार राइट तो दैट इज सेट टू बी एस्ट्रल ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज एस्ट्रिंजेंट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज एस्ट्रिंजेंट एस्ट्रिंजेंट इज समथिंग वेरी बाइंडिंग एस्ट्रिंजेंट इज बेसिकली बाइंडिंग we know that a person who is astringent stringent means who is very adamant right so astringent is basically uh, binding right astronomical astronomical means uh, a very large right or we can say very huge very huge or very large so that is said to be astronomical okay so here we can say that an assembly of the hearers is said to be assemblage next is star shaped flower a flower which is star shaped right so what do you call it so that uh, flower is basically called as aster a s t e r that flower is called as aster right uh, astute astute is one who is very shrewd who is very shrewd right or you may call it who is very cunning right jo kafi chalak hai kafi dhurt hai that person is said to be astute right and next one is ascender ascender means in two parts ascender means in two parts right so that is said to be ascender right asylum uh, asylum is basically a place of refuge or shelter asylum is basically a place of shelter right uh, you generally uh, hear that uh, that main asylum is a place of shelter right or we can say that is sort of protection next question is fear of thunder and lightning so that fear is basically named as phobia right here uh, astrophobia that fear is basically named as astrophobia that is fear of lightning and thundering okay uh, asymmetric asymmetric means which is not identical or not symmetric not same right atheist who does not believe in the exist who does not uh, believe in existence of god who does not believe in existence of god right so that is said to be atheist right uh, you know about the atheist atheist is a person who believes in the uh, existence of god and atheist who does not believe in the existence of god right atavism a t a v i s m right it is basically resemblance to remote ancestors rather than to parents right that uh, that particular whole concept is said to be atavism sometime you find that a children is not on his parent but on his grandparents right so that uh, particular concept is said to be atavism right that is basically resemblance to ancestors to remote ancestor resemblance to remote ancestors than on parents right so that is said to be atavism right the next question is a person who studies the influence of heavenly body and human beings right a person who study the effect of heavenly body on human beings that is said to be astrologer jisko hum hindi mein kya kehte hain jyotishi right astrologer okay atone atone means make amend for or pay for atone is basically pay for okay or make amend for atrocity atrocity is very important word right kisi par jyati karna that is the basic meaning of atrocity right uh, we can talk it as the brutal deed in english we may call it as a brutal deed but we know that atrocity generally this word is being used uh, when we talk about atrocities on women right atrophy a t r o p h y atrophy atrophy is basically wasting away atrophy is basically wasting away right uh, means polio victims need physiotherapy to prevent the atrophy of affected limbs right means atrophy uh, the limbs that have been wasted away right so that is basically said to be atrophy right so a person who studies the influence of heavenly body so that person is basically named as astrologer 
नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज वन हु इज किल्ड इन द स्टडी ऑफ कलेस्ट्रियल बॉडी राइट दैट इज नेम्ड एज एस्ट्रोनोमर तो दैट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड एस्ट्रोनोमर तो एस्ट्रोलॉजर इज वन हु स्टडी द इफेक्ट ऑफ हेवनली बॉडी ऑन ह्यूमन डीड्स राइट और वी कैन कॉल इट एज ए ज्योतिष शास्त्र दैट इज एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड एस्ट्रोनोमर हु स्टडी इन दू इज किल्ड इन द स्टडी ऑफ सेलेस्ट्रियल बॉडी दैट इज सेट टू बी एस्ट्रोनोमर ओके then we have attentive attentive is means who is very alert attentive means who is very alert that is said to be attentive uh, attentuate attentuate is basically uh, to make thinner or weaken or lessen right so we may call it as to make weaker okay uh, attest a w t e s t attest is to testify Attestation to testify, right? So generally we call it as attestation. To attest a document means to testify a document, right? So one who is skilled in the study of uh, celestial body, that person is said to be astronomer. Attentuate, right? Attentuate is to make something weaker, to make lessen something, right? That is the meaning of attentuate. A double T E and U A T E. Next one is a person who does not believe in God. That person is named as atheist. Right, a person who does not believe in God, that is said to be atheist. Right, attribute, attribute is basically essential feature. Attribute is basically feature of something, right? Or we can call it as a quality of something that is basically said to be uh, attribute. Right, attrition, attrition is basically a gradual decrease in number. Right, so basically that word is used. when some employees are been decreased from a country uh, from a company right that is employees attrition so we may call it as gradual decrease attrition is basically gradual decrease in number that is said to be attrition right atypical uh, when we talk about atypical what do you mean by this term atypical is something which is not normal atypical is which is not normal right so that is said to be atypical So here question is one who does not believe in the existence of god that is atheist that we know right attribute are the features of something attrition is basically gradual decrease and atypical is not normal next is fear of failure right some person have fear uh, fear of failure they are uh, taken as actiophobia right so that is the fear of phobia uh, that is fear of failure right uh, argument A U G M E N T. Argument is basically increase. The meaning of the term argument is basically increase, right? Audacious. Audacious is one who is very daring or bold. Audacious is one who is very daring or bold. That person is basically called as audacious, right? And audit. So audit is examination of records. Audit is examination of records. audit is examination of records so that is said to be audit okay what we can say that fear of failure atychophobia right and argument means to increase audacious means daring and bold right and audit means examination of records okay the here answer to my question is a next one is sound which can be heard right that is audible sound which can be heard that we call it as audible sound right uh, the word is oral right a u r o a u r e o l e right basically that is for sun's corona that word is basically uh, used for sun's corona right that word is used in science okay and oral means uh, that uh, pertaining to the oral right it uh, the pertaining to the sun's corona right so that is said to be oral okay the sun hair means uh, about the surya right and augury a u g u r y when we talk about this particular word that is omen right or we may call it as prophecy right jaise we call it as good omen or bad omen mala acha shogun aur bura shogun so that is a sort of indication right so here sound which can be audible that is said to be audible a number of people listening to a lecture so they are said to be audience 
a number of people listening to a lecture they are said to be audience right uh, auspicious what is the meaning of the term auspicious auspicious means favoring success auspicious means favoring success right or we may call it as a a favorable indication right so that is auspicious authenticate authenticate means to prove something genuine to prove something genuine so that is said to be authenticate right austere austere means a very simple austere means very simple right jo bahut hi seedhi saadi zindagi bitaye that is said to be austere right so a number of people listening to a lecture those people are called as audience right and uh, anything that is favoring success that is said to be auspicious authenticate is to prove something genuine right and austere is very simple uh, like a saint the study of hearing especially hearing defects and their treatment right so that is said to be audiology that study is said to be audiology right uh, automation automation is basically a mechanism that runs itself right when we talk about automobile industry or automation that runs itself so that is said to be automation so what we can say that and mechanism that run itself with the help of the machine so that is basically said to be automation right autonomous autonomous means self governing autonomous basically means self governing g o v e r n i n g autonomous is basically means self governing right autopsy autopsy is examination of dead body autopsy is examination of dead body right so that is called as autopsy right so what we can say that the study of hearing especially hearing defect and their treatment right so that is said to be audiology okay and automation is a process that run itself okay autonomous which is a self governing body autopsy examination of the dead body a qualified accountant who inspect accounting records that is said to be auditor because that is the work of the auditor to inspect the accounting record right authoritarian when we talk about this term uh, authoritarian that is a uh, completely dominating another wills right a person who completely dominates other wills or we may call it as dictatorship who completely dominates others right so that is said to be authoritarian and authoritative is the same thing when we talk about authoritative having the weight of authority right uh, some orders are there which are given by the authority so those orders are said to be authoritative right uh, autocratic autocratic is having absolute power or we may call it a dictator same as authoritarian having absolute power right so that is said to be autocratic having absolute power that is said to be autocratic right next is especially with regard to ear anything specially with regard to ear that is said to be orist because a u r that word simply deals with the ear right so that is said to be orist let's have the few words here auxiliary auxiliary means uh, providing help auxiliary means providing help right that is helping something that is said to be auxiliary right avarice avarice means uh, that's your greediness for wealth that basically your greediness for wealth right so that is said to be avarice right avalanche right when we talk about this term avalanche uh, avalanche is basically great mass of falling snow and ice right so that is basically used jab ek bhari matra mein barf girti hai so that is said to be a great avalanche is basically great mass of falling snow great mass of falling snow right so that is basically said to be avalanche right so what we can say that especially with regard to ear a person who is specialist with regard to ear so that is said to be orist okay 
and auxiliary avalanche is a great mass of falling of the snow. Avaris is basically the greatness for 